Beef Wellington. Hi everyone, welcome to the Cookie Couture where flavor and design collide. Today I am going to share with you how I like to make Beef Wellington. But first, if you're new here in my channel, don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button and let's get started. I like to prepare my mushroom mix the night before I am going to prepare the beef wellington and I like to use a variety of mushrooms. My favorites are shiitake, cremini and white mushrooms but you can add the mushrooms of your choice. And I like to cut the mushroom in different sizes. The link for this recipe is in the description of this video. I like to use a saute pan and first I cook the pancetta and later on I add the shallots that I previously chopped and cook them until they are translucent. Then I put back the pancetta in the pan and add the mushroom mix. I like to use fresh herbs and I add a splash of dry vermouth. I cook this for about 20 to 30 minutes until all the liquid is reduced. Then I transfer this mix to a little bowl and let it cool down and I don't wash the pan because in the same pan the next day I am going to sear the filet mignon pieces. Then, over a piece of plastic paper, I like to put a layer of prosciutto. Then, on top of the prosciutto, I like to put the mushroom mix. Then, I arrange the beef pieces over the mushrooms. I like to put the bigger pieces on the center and the smaller ones on the edges. And this way, you're going to have pieces that are cooked to well done to medium rare. Remember to wash your hands every time that you make this dish because you are working with raw meat. Then I wrap it with the plastic paper and make a little bundle using baker's thread, better known as baker's thread. Be sure to wrap this very tightly. After doing this, I put the meat on the refrigerator for about 20 to 30 minutes. Meanwhile, I prepare my puff pastry. I like to use frozen puff pastry. There are very good ones in the market. I preheated my oven at 400 Fahrenheit degrees. Then I like to roll out all the pieces of puff pastry until they are very nice and thin. I want to be sure that the puff pastry is going to cover all my meat very nice. To give a festive look to this beef wellington, I like to roll out another piece of puff pastry and use a roller to give it a little design. Now I am going to brush my puff pastry with a beaten egg. And if you like to brush your puff pastry with egg wash, you can do it as well. If you have extra pieces of puff pastry, you can put some decorations on top. And when my beef wellington is ready to bake, I like to insert in the center a digital thermometer. And I like to set the thermometer at 130 Fahrenheit degrees as we like medium rare beef. And this way I'm going to have pieces from medium rare to well done. And the baking time will vary from 20 to 40 minutes, obviously depending on how you like the beef. This beef wellington is super delicious and is the perfect recipe for the holidays. If you want, you can also make turkey wellington. The process to make it is very similar, but you're going to need different ingredients. 
Okay guys, this is it for today. If you're looking to make something different these holidays, please give it a try to the beef wellington or turkey wellington. I will leave you the link for the turkey wellington recipe in the description of this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.